The AFC Championship is between the Bills and the Chiefs. The Bills are going to Arrowhead Stadium. They're going to face off against the Chiefs. The Chiefs beat the Browns 22-17. The Bills beat the Ravens 17-3. What are you expecting out of this game, and who do you think will win? Well, I'm speaking on it as if, I'm speaking on it as if Patrick Mahomes is going to play. I know he's still in concussion protocol. So, I, I'm up. Ah, it's it's going to be just, I think this has a chance to be game of the year. You know, two of the top three quarterbacks in the AFC are going to go down. I think the Bills defense showed progress last year. They showed that they can shut down a lot of good teams. They shut down the running game. They held Lamar to 3.8 averages a carry. So I think this defense, you know, is peaking at the right time. With that being said, though, the Chiefs offense, you know, is. It's pretty much almost unstoppable. I mean, with the Browns, you show a little, you you saw a little signs of relate, ah, signs of life. You know, they only scored twenty two points, but I think this is going to end up inevitably being a shootout with what quarterback can at the end of the game get it done. But I think I'm going to go with the underdogs, and I'm going to go ahead and take Josh Allen and Stephon Diggs. I think they're going to pull out the win in the upset. So for me, I agree with you. I think the Bills will win this game. I think they're the hottest team in the NFL. And when you look at the Chiefs and Browns game, the Chiefs were not impressive. Their first two drives, they scored a touchdown. And when they scored touchdowns in their first two drives, I said, wow, the Chiefs are going to blow out the Browns. Then for the rest of the game, the Browns held them to field goals. And the Browns don't have a great defense. And look, right now, I I know people want to pick the Chiefs because of their offensive firepower, of Patrick Mahomes, But you got to understand that this entire year, the Chiefs have been a sloppy football team. They make magical plays, and that's what kind of makes them win games. But they have been a sloppy football team. They haven't been where they need to be. They haven't been what they were last year. And I think the Bills are coming into their own. A guy who gets slept on that I mentioned last week is Matt Milano. He's a Pro Bowl caliber linebacker. When he plays for the Bills, their defense is an elite unit. Because Matt Milano is a coverage linebacker, but he can also blitz. He usually takes on the running backs of the tight ends. He's great in coverage. And for me, the Bills held the Ravens to three points. The Ravens, if not the Bills, were the second hottest team in the NFL. And they were averaging about 200 yards per game on the ground. The Bills held them to 150. So the Bills can stop the run. And they've shown before that they can stop the pass. You know that they got um, Trey White there, Jordan Poyer. Micah Hyde, they got guys, and I think they have been waiting, and they are ready for this opportunity, and I think they're going to pull out this win. Yeah, I'll I'll say if Chad Henney is playing quarterback on Sunday for the Chiefs, I don't give them much of a chance at all, just because like you mentioned, that run defense looked really good against the Ravens, which is one of the best running offenses, and it was the best run offense in football, and if Chad Henney is playing quarterback, I think the Chiefs are going to rely on the run more than obviously they would if Patrick Mahomes was playing. I do think Patrick Mahomes is going to play, but I don't think he's going to be 100%, and I think it's going to end up hurting the Chiefs a lot more than people think. People are going to see Patrick Mahomes get cleared to play, and they're going to think it's just the same Chiefs. But when you look at Patrick Mahomes and what he does, a lot of his production comes on broken plays where he escapes the pocket and makes some Houdini throw. But if he is not 100%, not only might he not be able to do that, but the more important thing, if you're Andy Reid, do you want him to go out and do that and put himself in a position to get hurt again and risk not only this one game, but your entire future that you just spent half a billion dollars on over the next 10 years? It's a concern that you need to look at. You're not just talking about one football game here. You're talking about the future of your franchise, the face of your franchise. Even if he is ready to go, even if he's clear to play, it might not be the best decision for the Chiefs to play him just because it's a huge risk. They will. I'm not saying they won't. Uh, Look, I disagree with what you're saying. This is the AFC Championship. Yeah, Jack. To go to the Super Bowl. This is for all the marbles right here. Regardless if the team doesn't want to play him, Patrick Mahomes wants to play. Oh, 100%. I'm not saying he's not going to. If this was a whatever regular season game, yeah. This is the AFC Championship. You play him. No, they're going to play him. I'm not questioning that they're going to play him. He, If he can be on the field on Sunday, he will be. But I'm just saying, if if you're involved in that Chiefs organization, 
you you're probably very nervous putting Patrick Mahomes out there because coming off an injury like he had this past weekend, that's a big risk, especially the way he plays. He puts himself in harm's way, and luckily he. I don't had, think so. I think the way he plays puts himself in more harm's way than a, a, I think a I lot think, of people. I think, think. it's more dangerous because it was a concussion. Ain't no concussions are pretty. You have to be kind of self aware and. He can get hit one more time, and it can just turn into a bad thing. I think if it was any other thing, you could be like, all right. But with a concussion, you have to take protocols, and you have to be precautious about it. But like Joel said, this is the AFC Championship game. This is you versus the second-best team in the league. This is one game away from the Super Bowl. On a two-week break. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm so not, he can get, if he gets yeah. this one off, he gets that break. Listen, you know. I'm not questioning that he's going to play. If he can, if he's available, he will play. There's and, and he should. But I, I think that Mahomes slides and he he's pretty safe. He doesn't put himself in harm's way like Lamar. Lamar no, is crazy. Well, Lamar yeah. puts himself in he's harm's crazy. way. I think Mahomes doesn't. Mahomes that's that's is a whole different about. level. Well, who's gonna win, Jack? I I honestly, if if we were talking about Patrick Mahomes at full yeah, strength, full I would strength. say I would say the Chiefs, but I don't think. There's any way that he is 100% on Sunday, and it's going to affect the way he plays. I, that's just the way I look at it. I don't think he's going to be the Patrick Mahomes that we have seen week in and week out. And like Joel said, they haven't played their best football all season. So why do I think after a week of Patrick Mahomes, probably I, I don't think he'll be able to practice until at least Friday going through the entire co- concussion protocol. So why do I think after a week of him not practicing with them playing pretty lackluster football. You know, I don't feel great about the Chiefs going into this one, as glowing as I've spoken about them all year long. And the Bills are red hot. And the way they defended the Ravens, the the way they've played leading up to this game, I, I'm, I'm thinking the Bills are going to take this one. This is the thing. With, with the Chiefs, I, look, I don't want to try and act like it's a done deal because it's not. The Chiefs and the Bills will be a great game. I think it's going to come down to the last possession. But for me, when I seen the Chiefs versus the Browns, maybe part of it was that they didn't take the Browns too seriously. They kind of got saved by Rashard Higgins fumbling into the end zone and getting that touchback. You know, they kind of got saved by that. They got saved that the Browns were not ready on fourth and one. Chad Henney made a miraculous third and 15 run to, to get it to the fourth and one. So I think a lot of things went the Chiefs' way. For me... Versus the Colts, one of the best defenses in the league. The Bills put up 27 points. The passing game is going. Versus the Ravens. The Ravens have, they're they're talked about as one of the best secondaries in the league, if not a top three secondary without a doubt. The Bills passing game was good against them. And Brian Dable didn't even pretend to make, to try to disguise it. He barely ran the ball. He went into the game, (laughs) we're going to pass. You know what we're going to do. That's it. Stop us. That's it. And the Ravens could not stop their pass game. The Chiefs don't have the corners the Ravens have. And that's why I think I don't want to act because even if Mahomes is 50%, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come down to the wire. Even if Mahomes is 50%, it's going to come down to the wire. It's going to be a very close game, but I just give the Bills the edge. And this might be my bias because I watched the four falls of Buffalo. I watched the, the documentary of them lose four straight Super Bowls. So it kind of put me in a place where I'm hoping the Bills do make a Super Bowl and hopefully win this time. But it, it the thing about it is that I, well, I'm going to talk about who I think is going to go to the Super Bowl next segment, but I think the Bills will win, and I, I'll just say this. I hope they don't lose their fifth Super Bowl in a row if they do go. I, th- I just think, like, these two teams have played, and I think from that point until now, the Bills have gotten better and better, and I think the Chiefs are still that lack of days ago, make silly mistakes, still just work off magic team. And I think, like like we all keep saying, the Bills are red hot, and they're firing. Their offense and their defense is firing right now. They're at their peak of their powers. So that's why I think – In the, I don't even think it would be necessarily a big upset. I think this is kind of like a minor upset. But I think right now the Bills and Josh Allen are going to just take this win. I think it would have been a big upset if what happened to Patrick Mahomes never happened. If you were talking about a full-strength Chiefs team, uh, I think the Chiefs would be – Big upset? I think the Chiefs would be – Pretty well favored coming into. I think this a one. big upset would be what the Titans did to the Ravens last year. Yeah, that, okay. that's a big. Okay. I think that, it's just like a regular fair. upset. Like, like I think this upset. this would be like an upset, but it wouldn't be. 
It's not like I it's, think it would people. Be, some people would have expected it. It's not. A, it's fair. not an upset where that's you're fair. gonna blame the Chiefs. Like, how could you lose this game? That's it's fair. one of those. Like, it's just like, oh, you. I lost. think it would be much more surprising. Like, I would not be surprised at all to see the Bills win this yeah. game. Like, now. if the Browns beat the Chiefs, that would have been that's a big crazy. Upset. Okay, upset. That's, that's, like, that's fair. Oh, no. That's fair. Yeah. I, and, and I misspoke on that one. No, you good. Considering, uh, but you know, if the Chiefs were like Joel said, even Patrick Mahomes at fifty percent. You have more than a good chance to win the football game against anybody in the league, even talking about the red hot Bills. So I think it's going to come down to a shootout, but I do think that Patrick Mahomes not being at full, presumably not being at full strength and not having that full week of practice is going to end up hurting them going into a shootout with a team like the Bills, who, if there's any team in the league, you know. What two teams in the league would you not want to have a shootout with? Probably the Bills and the Packers would be the first two teams that come to mind after the Chiefs. So if any team was going to get them, the Bills are the team that you wouldn't want to see, and they're catching them on a week. It's just the perfect storm or you know, the worst possible storm for the Chiefs to be facing at the worst possible time. So I think the Bills are going to end up taking it. 